Hey guys, time itself here, back with some more shotgun probability. Most weapons, we can talk about time to kill, but shotguns with their random spread, we have to talk about the probability of getting a kill. So that's what this series is for, and in this episode, we're going to be looking at the M1216, the burst fire shotgun from Black Ops 2. Now, I've done this whole song and dance a couple times now, so you're probably familiar with it, but let's go over it just one more time. I've taken a fair amount of testing from in-game to come up with a reasonable approximation that a single pellet hits. Now, I've using a fairly idealized scenario assuming that aim is, well, not the limiting factor the spread of the shotgun would be. And at that point I can come up with a reasonable estimate for the probability that the shotgun will get a kill. Now in Black Ops 2, and somewhat like Black Ops 1, the accuracy of the spread is greatly influenced by your stance, standing, crouching, or prone, and also if you're aiming down sights. So, uh, there are a lot of variables here. However, I'm going to concern myself with the case that I most often find myself in, and that is standing and moving. Now, that's the widest spread possible. Now, the laser sight does reduce the spread, and we'll consider that as well. But for the most part, uh, well, if you're aiming down sights, it's fairly safe to assume that almost every single pellet hits, but then aim is really the limiting factor. And especially with the 1216, uh, you're not going to land all 12 shots directly center mass. That There's enough recoil there that it's not going to happen. So uh, keep in mind that the ADS numbers I give are very, very optimistic. Now, before we get into all the nice pretty charts, let me point out that there is a link in the description to a Google Doc spreadsheet with the most current, accurate, and up-to-date information that I have updated it with. Let's face it, they change things for balance reasons, and I am known to make a mistake every now and again. So I can update that, whereas updating the video is really hard. First update is to the damage profiles. I've gone over to Marvel 4's weapon stats. They're much more accurate than what I had been doing, just kind of eyeballing off another chart. And so we see that the M1216 is a 25 to 6 damage weapon. But we don't want to talk about damage so much as hits to kill, which is anywhere from 4 to 17. The gun only shoots 8 pellets, and it's fairly obvious you're not going to get a one hit kill past about 7.5-8 meters here because it takes more pellets to kill than are in a single shot. The S12 was also a 4 to 17 hit kill, so let me put on there where the difference is between the two guns. And you'll see it's only between about 4.5 to 7 meters where the S12 has a slight advantage due to that slightly higher upfront damage of 30 instead of 25. They're the same point blank because the S12 and the 1216 both take 4 pellets to kill. The S12 doesn't have that much more damage than the 1216. So there's really minimal difference between the two guns. They have the same spread profile, uh, they have the same damage profile for much of their range. The S12 just has a little bit more close range damage, but not enough to make it a 3 pellet kill instead of a 4. So the guns are remarkably similar, I'm kind of surprised. Uh, really, the most significant difference between the two guns is that the S12 is semi-auto, and the 1216 has this weird full-auto burst mechanic, which I find highly undesirable, but well, that's just me, personal preference. But I was expecting more of a difference when I was digging into this, but well, really, it, that's, it's, it's, we're going to see this is not a significant difference between these two guns. So, let's get into probability. The first shot probability, first with the default, then with the laser, and then ADS. And you see very obviously where it takes more than 8 pellets to kill, because ADS, if you're center target, almost all of those are going to hit. Now, let's add on the S12 options and see just how different they are from the 1216. The answer is not a whole lot, especially not in terms of reliable one-hit kill. In fact, the one-hit kill with ADS range is identical for both guns. <laughs> there just isn't that much of a difference. Well, I have to say, I was surprised the laser sight didn't help more, but the spread is still quite wide even with the laser sight. You really need to ADS if you want to land most of your shots on target. Well, let's get into multiple shots, though. I often do this. Go back to first, second, third, and fourth shots, and we'll see that the range slowly creeps out. But as with the S12, it's really hard to push out the maximum range of the shotgun when you need 17 pellets to hit in order to get a kill. And by the fourth shot, well, uh, you're still not pushing out towards the maximum range with uh, just hip fire. You have to ADS, and the ADSing has to be very accurate in order to reliably get a kill at this thing's maximum range. I don't know. I just I don't find the shotguns in Black Ops 2 to be terribly effective. They are just so range limited by that damage profile. Anyway, here's the chart that I think you will be most interested in. 
the first and then fourth shot kill potentials with a variety of attachments. The suppressor, just default, long barrel, suppressor and laser, the laser, and then the laser and the long barrel. And in terms of first shot kill potential, there's about a meter difference with a reliable zone, and then maybe two on the fourth shot. So yeah, there's a difference with what attachments you have, but I was surprised again that the attachments didn't make more of a difference in terms of the performance of this weapon. Using this thing, get close, then get closer, and then maybe a bit closer, and if you're still not in knife range, go ahead and use the shotgun instead of your knife. So I found myself using lots of concussion grenades in order to snare people and then get close enough to use the shotgun. That necessitated the use of tack masks because otherwise I would concussion stun myself and then I couldn't run up to them. And even then, you know, you get close and if they're prone, surprisingly effective defense against shotguns. Who would have guessed? Just laying there waiting for the guy to come. Because that spread is less, you know, the smaller profile and so when they're prone it's actually harder to get a kill with a shotgun. Yeah, it's a uh, very, very frustrating weapon to use, and while I don't rely on one-hit kills with this thing, uh, the fact that it's slightly less likely to get them in the S12 meant that I went into hardcore in order to finish this thing off. I, I just wanted to get it over with. <laughs> and so, yeah, I, I did the SVUAS, the sniper rifle, in normal. I did the S12 in core modes, but I went to hardcore to get the one-shot kills with the 1216. I just... I wasn't willing to put up with it in core game modes anymore. But back to this four round burst thing. Interesting idea, I really don't like how it turned out. Because I end up, as you see here, I'll just shoot all four shells every single time. And it's not that I know I need all four shots to kill one guy in a certain situation, it's that I might need all four to kill the next guy. And so I either just finish off that tube and chamber the next one, or reload the gun between every single kill. And it means I end up wasting a lot of ammo, and well, if you end up in a situation where you need more than four shots, as we've seen from the probability here, is entirely possible to just spray and spray and spray and get hit markers. So th this whole needing to chamber a new tube after every four shots thing uh, really gets in the way, especially we're trying to do close quarter stuff with a shotgun. And yeah, you can use fast mags to speed up the reload, but the reload's still long, there's no way to get around and make that chambering, rechambering faster. So, I, I don't know, I feel like I need to engage people very much one at a time. Unlike the S12, where I might be able to take two people if they were super close at the same time. Uh, just to spray a couple into one and then change targets. With the 1216, I'm going to have to change tubes, and that's going to get in my way. So while it has 16 rounds, it's not any better than the S12. I feel like I just end up wasting so much of that ammo. I don't normally like being so negative towards a gun, it's just that I don't see a reason to run the 1216 over the S12. But if you are going to use it, I would recommend uh, the long barrel and the laser sight. It seems to be the best bang for your buck. Yeah, you can go stock and try to aim down sights a lot, but while there's a fair amount of recoil and the default movement speed while aiming down sights is already fairly fast, the stock improves it, but not a great deal. <laughs> lucky, lucky little kill streak on kill streak action there for the double kill. Uh, good stuff. C4 with scavenger, pretty much a must. Go along with those concussion grenades and tack mask. I'd also take ghost and a pistol secondary. That's not really a gun I enjoy using too much, but we'll, we'll make it work. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.